in the rain has come. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. Join me in this one for some wild woodland hammock camping. Right, so welcome back everyone. Um, as you can see, I'm in the same spot I was last week with English Woodsman. English Woodsman is just behind you here, setting up um, as we speak. Uh, so yeah, um, I've opted for a hammock tonight. Um, I did put a poll on my YouTube page to see uh, what people wanted me to go out camping and you did vote for the stratosphere. Um, but because it's been raining all day, I thought, get yourself off the ground, you know, get yourself lifted up, swing between two trees, you'll be much more happy. Because otherwise I'm just going to be miserable in the morning and you know, I don't want that, you don't want that. Um, also you'll notice I've not put the preview reel on the intro this week. Uh, that's because I've been looking at all my YouTube bits and bobs and you know there's all sorts going on behind the scenes. And I've noticed people are sort of dropping off in the first minute, in the second minute, you know. Some people aren't watching, you know, watching halfway through. So what do you think? Do I keep going with a preview reel or do I keep it short and sweet like this one? Right, stick with me, I'm going to get set up. Right, so while I'm just going to set up, uh, this week I'm going to have my tarp lower down and my hammock riding underneath it because it is driving rain. Uh, I took my coat off though because I was getting a bit sweaty. But uh, I'm not going to do the sort of hyperlapse to show you how I'm setting up and things like that this week either. Uh, so yeah, I'll bring you back in a second. Whoop. So yeah, I finally got set up. Uh, tonight, snug pack all the way shot the G1, hammock, cocoon as usual, self inflating midi mat inside, and a new pillow which I'll take you inside and show you very shortly. But I've also done this over here. Because it's raining, they want me gear to get wet, so I've got the, uh, the Stasher G1, uh, and just a, a net hammock, and then my bag in that just off the ground. Right, go to inside in two seconds. So just while we're over at my setup, you can see that my tarp is set a lot lower today. Normally my tarp is, so they've been out of shot normally. We have lowered it really down because obviously we're expecting quite heavy rain tonight. Um, so I've lowered it down just so that the driving rain doesn't sort of come under and the, the hammock as well is actually tied higher. So this is the hammock straps and this is the ridge line. So the hammock's tied a lot higher than the actual ridge line of the tarp so I'll just spin you around and show you what else I'm going to do when I finally uh, decide to go to bed I'm going to take these two tie out points here this one here and this one here I'm going to draw them in together like so pull one through the other and then just stick a simple toggle in and that should just keep my ends closed keep me uh, a little bit drier overnight so I'll show you what that looks like from this end I don't know how well that's showing up on camera. You can see that my ends have been drawn in, still away from the cocoon, but when I get in it will drop a little bit. So obviously I've got the pound shot bobbles on these uh, bits as well, and then the simple toggle just going through one of the bobbles. I'm just cinching me in, keeping me dry. I'm going to leave it like that until bedtime now. Here we are under all weather shelter. Uh, tropical hammock. This is my new pillow, this is the butterfly version of premium air pillow from snug pack uh, obviously tried this out the other night i was doing a just to mess around because i bought all your new system which i'll show you very very shortly but yeah i've uh, upgraded my pillow because i've handed mine down to him but yeah butterfly pillow it should create on my neck a bit better and stay in the hammock a lot better instead of me trying to chase it and find the, the pillow in the cocoon in the morning and then me with a stiff neck because i've not had a pillow all night so I'm looking forward to trying that out. Yep, this is the uh, travel light self-inflating midi mat. I'll do a review of them like I always do. Uh, and then the cocoon, which you know you've seen a million and one times. Right, I'll take you over to my bag. Right, so again we're just under uh, Snug Pack G1 Stasher, um, and then this is just one of them cheap sort of net hammocks you can get off eBay for about three or four or five pounds, something like that. And then the snug pack endurance and then a snug pack 70 litre aqua cover. I know the endurance is a 40 litre, but if you remember in a few videos ago I put on the Wii Sport raccoon pockets on the on the sides. Um, and obviously my possible pouch and fire kit and everything that I brought all that with me tonight. So 
Hence why I've gone for the, the larger aqua cover. Uh, also, I'm going to hopefully cook under here tonight. I can take the bag out in a second, throw it on the floor, and uh, clear the space on the floor to cook. Right, I'll bring you back shortly. Right, so who remembers last week Dan laid in his hammock while I was snoring? And then Greg, look at him, snug pack. <laughs> look at that for a view. It's not a lot, is it, really? I just want to try to keep away from <coughs> snug pack. <laughs> I'm not a massive snug pack lover, really. Snorting at me. Come and check this out. This isn't my setup. This is Dan's setup. But look what it is. It's not mine, it's your setup. <laughs> so, yeah, he's got a snug pack hammock cocoon. I knew I'd convert him one day. See when it's charity shots open, I'm taking it back. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just while we're here, actually, I'll just show you what I did for him. He's, if you look at his knots here, you can see this one. This is like a structural ridge line that I've stuck to his carabiners for him, just so that he's got um, a little bit of lift in the cocoon. If you've seen my review video, I talk about people being claustrophobic in there, and as it's Dan's first night, I didn't want him running off and leaving me in the middle of woods on my own. So I thought I'd help him out a little bit. Just one more quick tip that, I've, uh, that I'll show you. You can see that I've actually pegged the tarp in through the islet there. And if you follow the cord here, you can see another peg there. That's just giving me a little bit of extra security, a bit of double double pegging. Just to uh, stop me, uh, if this one comes out, say, overnight, I've still got this one, so I'll, I'll be flapping in the morning and vice versa. Right, so it's getting to that time now where it's uh, time to get peckish. So I brought with me Old Faithful again. My old nasty frying pan. My good old chopping board. And then for food tonight, I've stored it in a small snug pack dry pack. So let's see what we've got. So obviously I've got with me my uh, my cook set with all my herbs and spices in. But the main part of the meal is going to be these pork belly slices. I'm going to season them up with a, a bit of Scott spice. Yeah, some rice. A red onion. Some spring onion. And then just to, to dress at the end. A little bit of coriander. So I brought with me tonight just my uh, cheap sort of cook set. And then the cheap stove. Just a, a small gas cylinder. So yeah, I'm just going to be cooking away on that. I put all the pans back. I don't actually need the little pans, do I? Just the uh, stove and gas, so pack lighter next time Scott so this is the little set that I actually cooked the chips in last week uh, what did you reckon to that? has anybody ever had chips in the woods like that before? I think I got that idea from uh, Ash Outdoors when he did his free ingredients um, cookout video um, English Woodsman just give Ash a shout out as well because uh, they've been liaising together so uh, well done Ash, on it in 2,000 subscribers mate. Not far behind you but slowly catching you up. Yeah, I brought with me my uh, little cook set again. Uh, if you're interested I'll do a video on this, let me know what you think. Uh, so yeah, I've just taken out my vegetable knife. I'm just going to cut up my onion on here and this is going to be my meat knife. So I'll just close that up for a second.
Right, it's time to season up the old belly pot now. A bit of Scotch spice, so yeah, these are uh, little bottles that I've got in my cook set. A bit of Himalayan salt. Got to replace that one now. Bought these from Ranger, I've had a few people asking me what they were. Yeah, they were like sequins or something inside there, and I've like steamed them dry. And then obviously I did my uh, seasoning bits in. Next up we've got a bit of pepper. Lastly, some chili flakes. I think it's time for a bit of meat, people. Right, it's time to check on these now. Oh, oh. Drying off nicely. I think it's about time to tuck in people. Right, so just about to tuck in people, how does that look? <laughs> Dropped a bit then. What do you reckon to my little cook set while I'm little seasoned? Alright, enjoy that. So yeah, obviously I uh, seasoned the, the pork belly up with salt, pepper and chilli flakes. And the rice, I don't think I've showed you that one. We just added a little bit of garlic powder to the rice. And this made a hell of a difference, if you can see it on there. It's gone a bit. I give you a bit. Yeah. I'm going to sit back, enjoy this. And my coffee. Can you see that? So I'll see you in a bit. So while I'm tucking in, what do you guys think to hammocks? What are the pros? What are the cons? The reason I opted for the hammock tonight is because obviously it's been raining quite heavily earlier on, and the ground is sodden. Where I'm sat at the minute is, is just sodden. I've got my wellies on. I've got my my like um, Dewalt work trousers on. Um, I'm sort of perched on a bit of a rock, but yeah, it's quite sodden, so I'm glad that I chose the hammock tonight. Um, what's your main reason for hammocking? Let me know in the comments. Right, I'm going to crack on my tea. Caveman style. So I've got a couple of days off this week as well, so I might come out and do a bit more camping during the week. Um, I'm working next weekend, so I can't camp next weekend. But what I'll do is if I do camp midweek what release the videos back to back I'll space them out for you oh, yeah I'm looking forward to I had a midweek camp for absolutely ages I can't even remember the last time way before lockdown pardon me right I'm cracking up Yes, yeah, so I'm in hammock now. A little after eleven o'clock. 
Um, as I said before with my gear, I'm in the tropical hammock and the cocoon. No sleeping bag. Uh, we've got shorts on, look. And then my uh, snazzy snug feet. Just to keep my touches nice and warm. Uh, Brian Knight, I think this is 18 Pro, both keeper, clipped to my ridge line. Just while I'm filming. Yeah, I'm going to stick a film on, get some shot eye. I'll see you in the morning. I'm glad I cinched the doors up and brought the tank down a lot lower this time. As you can hear, the rain has come. Good morning. Well, what a night. Um, wind and wind didn't rip me up, but I got up for a wee a couple of times. It was pretty bad at times, it's eased off a minute. All I can hear is birds. Oh. Yeah, lovely and warm to say, I've just got short some. Nothing else, I don't have a sleeping bag in this. My snug feet on though, so I could run out for a week without having to put my wellies back on. Oh, you know what, I'm too tired. I'm going to shut my eyes for another half hour. Oh, see you soon. Oh, so good morning again. Whew. I think I've had about an extra hour there. Oh, I'm going to have to get up though because I need a wee. I've not heard Dan shuffling about yet neither, so... Right, I'm going to go for a, a wee. I'll bring you back shortly. Not going to believe this. Just got up to go for a wee. And Dan's gone. He's just left me, gone. Not even said bye out. Um, I feel like I've been dumped. <sighs> Suppose I better pack up on <sighs> Did anybody see which way Dan went? Never mind. See you in a bit. Daniel! <laughs>